Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Joe Smoking Joe's Pit Barbecue. On today's video, I'm going to be smoking up a double smoked glazed ham on my Edo Frontiersman. Stay tuned. All right, so what we're starting with is an 11 pound pecan smoked ham. Now this was previously smoked, but we're gonna add another layer of smoke. I'm actually gonna be smoking with some post oak today. And again, this is an 11 pound smoked ham. It's got a good fat cap on it as well. So now the surface is a little bit dry on these hams um, when you buy them out of the store. So what I'm gonna do, this is probably the only time that you'll ever see me use a binder. So I'm just using some extra virgin olive oil, okay? coat the entire outside of the ham. Now I am going to be smoking on this sheet here that you see here. You guys have seen my videos. I use these quite a bit. That allows me to turn the ham inside the smoker without having to lift it. Another, another tip is that when you smoke your ham, you want to smoke it with a face down. Okay. That way the smoke goes all the way around the, the, uh, the ham instead of hitting the face and not really ever hitting the rest of the, uh, the ham itself. All right, so it's nice and layered there. I want to add some Nutty Pecan from Victory Lane Barbecue. Just a light layer just to give it a little bit extra flavor on the outside. Just like so. And again, the flavors, you know, the, the slices are pretty thin, so you get a little bit of that rub flavor on the edge of the slice. Okay. Now, I took this right out of the fridge, and the reason why I don't want to let it sit is because I really want to get some smoke flavor on this. And if I let it come up to room temperature, it's going to smoke really, really fast, or it's going to come up to temperature. These are 100% cooked already. So essentially, I'm trying to get to about 140, 145 degrees internal temperature. We're not trying to cook it. We're just going to add another layer of smoke. So let's go outside to the smoker. Stay tuned. All right, we're outside of the Yoda Frontiersman, and I just put the ham in on the top left side of the smoker. And the reason I'm going with the top left side is because this is where I get the most uh, smoke in my smoker because, you know, obviously the firebox is on the right side and the smoke has to travel all the way over to the left side and out the exhaust that you can see there. So um, I, I will be rotating this in about an hour. Total cook time should probably take maybe two, two and a half hours or so. So in about an hour, I'm gonna come back and rotate this ham just so that this side uh, gets the same smoke treatment as well. Now to start my pit, it has been warming up for at least an hour. Uh, to start my pit, I started with a basket of Kingsford Blue, a full basket. And then I laid uh, two splits of post oak wood on top of that charcoal, and it's been warming up for about an hour. I just dropped another split of wood, so uh, we'll check back in about an hour. Again, 250 degrees on the top left side. We'll be back. Stay tuned. All right, we're one hour into the cook now, and let's take a look at this ham. Oh, yeah, this is beautiful. It's getting a nice dark color. Again, where, the, um, where it's facing the uh, firebox. I'll turn it so you guys can see it. It has a really nice uh, dark red rich color there. And um, so at this point, I'm gonna go ahead and rotate it. So now the fat cap of the ham is facing the firebox. I'm gonna go ahead and get an internal temperature as well. Now you don't have to poke it. You can just go right in through one of these slices. And by internal temperature, believe it or not, one hour in is at 41 degrees. So it still has a long way to go. Again, it's already cooked. We're just trying to get some smoke on the ham or more smoke uh, flavor on the ham. So that's why I'm cooking it at 250 degrees. So I'm gonna continue at 250 degrees. We'll come back in about an hour and get an internal temperature. So stay tuned. All right, so we're two hours into the cook now. Let's take a look at this ham. Oh yeah. If you remember um, when I rotated it earlier, you could see the, the fat cap here was nice and white. So it's got a nice color to it now. Uh, it's really juicy. You can see some of the juices coming down here. So let's take an internal temperature and see where we're at now. Right in between one of the slices here. 
All right, so we're at 70 degrees now, so it's coming up to temperature. It's almost doubled in temperature since the last time. I'm gonna go ahead and rotate it one time, put this point facing the firebox, just like that. And I'm gonna crank the temperature up to 275, just to speed the process up a little bit. Now, I don't want it to go over 275. In fact, if I can, if I can go to one, I'm sorry, 270, that's what I'm going to shoot for because I don't want to dry out that ham. It's it's uh, really nice and juicy as you can see there. So we'll check back in how oh, about 30 to 45 minutes. So stay tuned. All right, so we're two and a half hours into the cook now, and I just dropped another split of wood there, as you can see on the right side. And I did open the lid on my firebox. And the reason I do that is to let that black smoke that could affect the flavor of your food I let it out of the firebox and not have it go through the smoker and have it hit the uh, food because your food can actually turn black um, with that black soot, if you will. So the nice thing about these Yoder smokers, these big ones, that it does have that lid on the firebox to allow you to uh, vent out that uh, dirty smoke, if you will. So I'll let it catch for probably two, three minutes. And now you still have heat going through the smoker, um, but I do open up that hatch for about three four minutes and let some of that dirty smoke out I'll shut it down and close the door to my firebox at that point <clears throat> now if you notice on the left side of my firebox there I do have some wood um, heating up and the reason I do that is because a hot piece of wood is definitely gonna ignite a lot faster than if you were just to pull it off of your firewood rack and put it on top of your coals so it'll just uh, take a little bit longer so by heating it up it ignites really fast I just dropped this one and it's fully engulfed as you can see so again two and a half hours in let's take a look at that ham stay tuned all right so as I mentioned we're two and a half hours in let's take a look at the ham and see what it looks like oh yeah man this color is absolutely amazing it's this dark kind of mahogany color, almost like you would find on a brisket, but a little bit lighter. As you can see, I did spin it around, but you can see these slices are actually separating a little bit. And um, man, look at that. Nice and jiggly. Still very juicy. Let's take an internal temperature here. 97 degrees, so it's coming up again. Yeah, 97 degrees. So I'm going to let it come up to about 120 internal temperature. And at that point, I'm going to glaze it with this Texas pepper jelly uh, peach mango habanero. So this has got to be delicious. I actually purchased this bottle when I went up to Kansas uh, to pick up this smoker. And I bought a couple of bottles from All Things Barbecue. I've been wanting to try this Texas pepper jelly uh, product. And today is the day again this is their they call it the bird bath uh, i think they made it for chicken but it's good for for ribs obviously and for hams or whatever it is that you want to use it for but this is their peach mango habanero so this is going to be good so we're going to give this another 30 minutes and come back and check on the temperature so stay tuned all right so the total cook time right now is three hours and let's take a look at this ham and check our temperature as well oh yes still plenty juicy you can see i don't know if you guys can see that but there's still plenty of juice in there perfect 118 degrees so i'm going to go ahead and glaze this let me zoom you in a little bit more there we go so again i'm using this texas pepper jelly this peach mango habanero and again i've been dying to try this stuff i got about half a bottle poured out into this little uh, container here and got my brush just gonna go ahead and glaze this ham oh man now i tasted this um this glaze this pepper jelly product and it's good no it doesn't have a whole lot of heat even though it's a peach mango habanero, you would think that it'd be spicy, but it's not. It's actually really good. Look at that. It's already got a really nice color. So I'm sure with the uh, glaze, once I let it sit, 
for probably, I don't know, maybe another, I think another 30 minutes, we're gonna be at 140 internal temperatures. So let me go ahead and spin this. Again, that's the beauty of using these sheets here, these pizza sheets. And it allows you to turn whatever it is that you're smoking. Again, I use this for, for a lot of different things, especially like this where, you know, you have a ham and you don't wanna really be moving it around too much as far as lifting it and disrupting the uh, the uh, bark, if you will. You don't want it to come apart on you. But man, this is smelling really good. The color is absolutely amazing. I hope you guys can see that. This glaze is something else. You know, I didn't even warm it up because it's actually pretty thin on its own. And it's going on really nice. Look at that. It's dripping. It's looking good. So about 20 more degrees. And uh, we'll see you guys inside, so stay tuned. All right, so the ham is ready. Total cook time is three hours and 45 minutes. Now, I did smoke it for about 30 minutes after I glazed it. Um, it just took that long to get to 140 uh, internal, 145 actually, internal temperature. Um, so it did sit with the glaze in the smoker for 30 minutes. Now I just want to recap real quick what I did. Started with an 11 pound uh, spiral cut ham just from the store. It was a pecan smoked uh, ham. I did use a little bit of extra virgin olive oil as a binder on the outside of it. Then I put a good layer of the nutty pecan uh, seasoning from uh, Victory Lane Barbecue. Smoked it for about three hours and 10 minutes, and then I glazed it with some of this Texas pepper jelly, uh, peach mango habanero, and this is where we're at three hours and 45 minutes later. So we're gonna actually make sandwiches out of this, uh, but you can definitely use this for a meal, um, especially during the holidays. Get away from the turkey if you want to, but I'm just gonna get a good piece, couple good pieces, I guess, from here. Man, look at this, still really juicy. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's extremely juicy. Let me get one of these pieces here. So there we go. Let's back the camera up and give this a taste. Stay tuned. All right, let's give this ham a taste. Oh my goodness. Mm, mm, mm. You know, I smoked hams before. I actually did one on my Yoda Y 640 pellet smoker. Turned out really good. But this is absolutely delicious. This is, I mean, the, there's no way to duplicate the smoke that you get or generate from an offset smoker. And this has a really good smoky flavor. Not overly smoky, but just a really good flavor. The um, nutty pecan rub has a little bit of sweetness to it. Mm. Then this Texas uh, pepper jelly product is absolutely delicious as well. I mean, I don't know. This is I don't know what what I could have done different, but this is an almost perfect ham. I don't want to say it's perfect because we can always improve our barbecue game, but this is really really tasty. Hope you guys like this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button on the way out. Leave any comments below. Happy holidays to you guys. Until next time, Joe Smoke and Joe's Pit Barbecue. See ya.